What's up everyone, Jacob Gago here, calling all Tesla fans that love to modify their rides, or you probably didn't even get a Tesla yet and you're looking for some inspiration or ideas of some things to buy for your upcoming Tesla, this video is gonna be for you. I have some really cool accessories that I haven't seen on any other Tesla video. Although my car is gonna be a Model 3 performance, a lot of the things I mentioned could also be for your model, so that could be the S, the X, or even the Y. If you do decide to get any of the products I mentioned, please make sure to use the link in the description below. It's gonna support the channel. All right guys, so make sure to stay till the end because I am doing a giveaway and it won't make sense unless you watch the whole video. Let's get started. All right guys, so let's start with the exterior of the car. Now obviously my car is a Model 3 performance so I'm more likely to have something like carbon fiber parts just to have that sportier look. That's going to lead us to this first mod. I have the carbon fiber turn signal covers. Now this whole turn signal is going to be carbon fiber matte and what I love about it, it's literally perfectly cut out. A lot of the other manufacturers only do the top part and then leave this part open but with this, it's it's literally perfectly cut out. Um, big win on this and it comes with both sides. The second accessories are these carbon fiber door handles. I must say this is one of my favorite accessory actually. From a distance you can't really tell that it's carbon fiber. The closer you get it you start realizing it's actually matte carbon fiber and it's the same manufacturer with the turn signal so definitely A1 and all the doors are going to have this. Now let's come to the front. So guys with this it's going to be the front license plate cover. It's not carbon fiber but let's just say you got pulled over for any reason because of no license plates in front. We know a lot of Teslas don't come with that. Well, this is where this will come in handy. Instead of going in and poking holes in the front and making it permanent, you could actually make this temporary, maybe like a fix it ticket and it'll just go right in. Obviously you'll put all the screws and whatnot so it could fit right in, but literally they will never know. You just go show that you got it fixed and probably get your fix it ticket forgiven. And then when that's done, just take it out, back to business. Guys, get one of these ASAP. The moment I found out about this, I literally placed my order so fast because you never know when you're gonna get a fix-it ticket and I don't wanna poke holes in the front of my car. We know Teslas literally look better without front license plate. This is gonna do a lot for you. Speaking of license plates, in the rear, I have a carbon fiber license plate frame. It's also gonna be matte, so it matches exactly with all the other carbon fiber matte parts on this car. And so if you do want that sportier license plate frame, this is one to get. The next piece we have here is a mirror cap. And if you haven't guessed it, it is carbon fiber matte. It does give it that nice sporty touch. I would say if you want that cleaner look, you could go without it. But if you want a little bit of that sportier look, this is definitely gonna be the way to go. This next mod, you can't really see unless it was like nighttime. Basically under each door are called puddle lights. These puddle lights are from Pimp My EV and it's literally one of the best puddle lights I've seen. It's pretty clear. And one thing that's really nice about this is you can customize how these puddle lights could look. And this is my own particular design. Now you can make it whatever you want, be it a logo or maybe just text, whatever it is, you're gonna be able to do it. And definitely, definitely thank you to Pin My EV for hooking this up. The last mod I did, which I honestly call it a mod, is tinted windows. They say Teslas without tints are like fish bowls. I don't really think so, but whatever people say, they say it looks like fish bowls. From owning a couple of Teslas, literally once Teslas are tinted, I feel like it just elevates its look. I won't go in detail what my percentages were because I already did a dedicated video on it and you can check out the video here. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I love white interior cars. At that time, the Model 3 Performance only qualified for the black interior to get the 7500, but I was okay with doing it because I felt like the perforated holes looked better with the black interior versus the white interior. I also didn't like how the door on the white interior was all white, so I decided to just get some white accents when the time comes. I'm so glad to say the decision of going with the black interior and then just making white accents was honestly one of the best decisions I made. I just literally love my interior. So what's going on here? The center console has a matte white carbon fiber. So it's literally just the opposite of the black carbon fibers like we have outside of the car. On the dashboard, I also put white carbon fiber just to match it with this top part. And all the passenger doors have white carbon fiber. And so it just literally just adds that nice touch. Just small accents, nothing too loud where it's like obvious in your face. I'll feel like the loudest thing would probably be the center console but just these nice small white touches, I honestly can't ask for more. This was literally the best decision. Wait, hold up a second. The algorithm tells me that some of you guys are coming back and watching all my videos, but you're not subscribing. So can you do me a favor and just hit the like button, subscribe. It's gonna support the channel. More people are gonna discover this and we just all win. So let's go ahead and keep going. All right guys, so another big one for me is actually the 3D floor mats. 
I'm honestly surprised that I have fallen in love with them. I actually did a video back in 2021 saying that um, at least at that time, I didn't like it. And I think that's because the design was a little different in the interior. I don't know if it's because I have the Model 3 Performance. It literally fits like perfectly. And I actually find it better than the Tesla floor mats this car comes with. In fact, I feel like they just took old Tesla floor mats from their prior models and just slapped it in the car. And it actually doesn't even fit well. But with this, it literally fits perfectly. And I feel like it blends in really nice. It has like a dark graphite kind of color. Uh, to fit in with the interior of the car. And also the protection is really crazy. You can literally pour water on it and the water will still be there. Uh, you could stamp on it. It was like, it just holds dirt really well. And the cleaning process is literally like night and day different from carpet cleaning. So this right here, get it. Don't even question it, just get it. It is gonna be in the description below, but this floor mat is definitely, definitely the one to get. It's all weather floor mat, so you could throw snow on it, you could throw sand on it, dirt, whatever you want, even water, and you shouldn't have a problem cleaning it. I'm sure you guys have been staring in this yoke, wondering if I'm gonna talk about it. Well, I won't talk about it in this video. I did already make a dedicated video, even how to install this yoke, and also I gave you guys my honest opinion whether it's even worth it, but having this yoke has definitely elevated the experience, so make sure to check out that video because I did talk more in depth about that. Speaking of steering wheels, here's the old one and you could obviously see that I added some white carbon fiber accents that definitely, definitely fits really well with the rest of the car. Uh, right now I'm rocking with the yoke, but if I did put it in there, you, it literally just blends in really well. Next accessory to add is a screen protector. I currently don't have one on my screen, but in the past I've been putting matte screen protectors. I think this time I wanted something that's glossy so I don't lose some of the quality and the sharpness, but I might still settle for the matte. I'll be sure to link below the matte and a glossy version. And keep in mind, if you have the Highland version, on the back there's also a screen and you also wanna put a screen protector on that. Next accessory is one of those things that I wonder how in the world did I not buy this years ago. It's actually a phone holder. It actually changes everything. Literally, this has been the best thing ever. Let's say you're doing FaceTime calls or you need to get on a phone call or you want to even honestly watch a video. Obviously, you have to pay attention to the road, but I've tried a couple phone holders and this one has been the best one and I'm definitely keeping it. It allows you to go portrait and landscape mode and also you could change the position of where you want it. Because I have the yoke, I decided to put it on the left hand side, but if you still have the circular steering wheel, you might want to prompt it up. This next accessory, I don't have anything there yet because I am still shopping around for the best one. But by the time this video comes out, you guys would have the one I'm going with. Essentially, Tesla's come with a super, super secret compartment that not many people know. If you buy the right one, if someone ever broke into your car, God forbid, they won't know that there's something there, especially if you buy the right one that just blends in flawlessly. Next up is the center console tray. There are many variations of Tesla center console trays. This time I decided to go with the Tesla version. My first impression was it's not as good as other third parties I've tried before. However, it was nice to see that it was made out of suede. If you know how to take care of suede, that's good for you, but I don't. So I know that this fresh look won't last forever. Installing the two trays was actually super easy, but also very annoying because you could actually see Tesla made provisions to install these trays, which made me think that at a minimum, at least for the performance or even some long range versions, this should have came in with the car for free. Also the center console tray in front does allow you to slide forward and backwards. <laughs> People are so nosy. All right guys, so now let's talk about some accessories that I think are really nice to have either in your trunk or your front. Right now I have them in my front, so let's open it up. All right guys, so one of the first things we have here is the microfiber cloth. I do definitely recommend having this. Mine is a roll, so I could just literally rip it out and then, you know, go. Now, they say it's washable. I don't recommend it. I'll just throw them away once I'm done. Um, but I definitely recommend having this is because it's gonna be easier on your paint. Next thing we have here is electric pump. In fact, I haven't opened it yet. All right, so there it is. So it's the electric pump. Definitely recommend having one of these in the car. Essentially, this is just to top off your air pressure or also just to check what your air pressure is. Yes, we have sensors where you could check inside, but this would also be able to inflate your tires in case it was low and you don't have to stop at a gas station. Very, very convenient. Now let's talk about cleaning. Well, outside, let's say I just wanted to clean up really fast. 
I recommend getting the waterless uh, car wash by Chemical Guys. Definitely, definitely the way to go. I haven't had any like problems with this. It just cleans it off really well and it's waterless. That's the key part of it. There are other products that you wanna be very careful on that Teslas don't really receive well, especially with the interior. Speaking of the interior, you definitely wanna be using baby wipes for the interior. I have the non-scented ones and I have mine is by Honest. I love using this wipe because again, it doesn't have any scent. So it literally just wipes off perfectly. Run away from the Magwire solutions. Those literally almost destroyed my interior. Prior cars I've owned, I've had leather interiors and I was using the Magwire leather cleaners. Big no-no with these Teslas. It literally almost destroyed my interior. So make sure you're using baby wipes. Another huge one to make sure you have is these plugs. All right, so if you ever got stuck on the road and you needed to get your car towed, guys, I'm telling you, this, if, if you don't buy anything, this is the one to buy. You have to get plugs for your car. They're gonna put this underneath the car so then your car could be basically lifted higher. Or let's say they were trying to change your tires and you need to lift it up. This needs to go underneath the car. There's a little hole and a place to insert these. Without these guys, you're literally just gonna mess up your frame on the bottom. So make sure you definitely, definitely purchase these. One of my favorite products that I've had in a while and I'm actually surprised how well it works is an air blower. Now you don't have to use this specifically for the car, but literally you could use this to just blow away dust inside the car, like say maybe on your center console, on the seat itself, or even just the whole car. This is literally the strongest air blower I've ever had. Crazy. So check this out. This this is a little leaf right here, right? It's just gonna blow out. <laughs> out literally the strongest thing. Next accessory that I think everyone should have in their trunk is a portable vacuum. You never know when you're gonna spill anything Especially if you have the Highland models, now you have perforated seats, there are a bunch of holes in there and you don't want things going in there. I have a Dyson vacuum that I use for the house. You don't have to go this expensive. I'll link below a cheaper, affordable vacuum. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am doing a giveaway and here's how you win. The first person to tell me how many times I said carbon fiber in this video is gonna be the winner. I am a smaller channel, so I could do only what I can, but you'll get a $25 gift card that you can use for whatever you want. Maybe some of the accessories I mentioned in this video. Also, I will be sending you a carbon fiber dashboard wrap, but this is only gonna work for the Model 3 Highlands or whether it's the long range performance or whatever it is. As long as it's in the Model 3 and it's the newer ones, this is gonna fit. If you don't have the newer Highland and the older Model 3 instead, I still have a wrap for you and it's gonna be a matte black wrap. It's not carbon fiber, but it's still gonna be really, really nice. Once again, guys, if you like anything I mentioned in this video, it's all gonna be in the description below. They are affiliate links, so it's gonna help out this channel. Thank you guys always for supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.